it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Boy, have I got a doozy for you guys today. This was not an expected video. Uh, I can clearly see that Archie does not want me to continue. Basically, Sam called me out of the blue and said, Alex, you need to come over here and you need to see what I have made for you. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to go outside your comfort zone, incorporate and embrace a new style. Clothes that aren't pyjamas? Because I mean, yeah. that, that would be a new style outside of my comfort zone. It would be clothes that aren't pyjamas. They're not pyjamas. I'm about okay. to give you something and they're not pyjamas. Are you ready? Are you ready? No. That sounds terrifying. That is not the answer, but I'm going to proceed ready. anyway. Close your eyes. I feel ill. Now, hold on, hold on. Before you do anything else, I want you to feel what is in front of you. Tell me what you feel. Danger. Dan <laughs> I feel danger. Fair, fair. If you're ready, open your eyes and you will be wearing these today. I know. I know exactly what this is. I can tell from the holes. Oh, have you, have you seen? This is a croc. Yeah. With spice, I think. I think or, maybe, or have you some sort of strange BDSM torture device. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Are they pink? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> goth crocs. They're not crocs. Uh, yeah, goth, goth, not crocs, not crocs. Goth Holy not. sh! <laughs> These are grognots. <laughs> grognots. <laughs> grognots. Grognots. Not crocs, but goth. Grognots. Sam, did you make these? Well, not not the shoe per se. Oh, well. I had to get the shoe from Target, darling. Everything else that you see attached to the shoe, I placed there oh my courtesy God. of Wish. No. Mm. The, you got these, was it? Off Wish. You're joking. That's Off Wish, that's no. Off Wish, that's Off Wish. The chain is Off Wish. The screw is Off Wish. It's Sam, off -wish. this is insane. You must have, did you see these? This is like a... Like you've, a, you've seen them too, haven't they you? They went viral. They were completely viral. Everyone was talking about them. Could you wear those for a week? Or is this like a day test? No, a well, day okay. wear test. I think we do the day wear test and then we see how many things start falling off them. I wonder if these are going to fit me. Oh, they should. I measured your feet in your sleep. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I asked it. I'm glad I have <laughs> spiked shoes now. <laughs> oh my god, they fit like a glove. Sam, that's insane. That's wild. <laughs> I know, that was, right? This is not what I was expecting when you asked me to come here tonight. This is like early 2000s I shit. remember when Crocs came out and they were all the rage and I got a purple pair and I used to put little like things in them. I used to put little design, like I think I had like a little sun and a ladybug and a little handbag, like little rubber things. They were all the rage and like the more little things that you could stick in the holes, the more popular you were in school. <laughs> that sounds like high school. Fun times. <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined that my best friend made me a pair of goth crocs. But hey, it's a wild world we live in. So basically, a couple of months ago, some tweets went viral featuring these gothic crocs. Now, yes indeed, they are a real thing that someone is selling on the internet. On Etsy, of course, where else do you find these unusual, wonderful things? So he is called Garbage Boy on Instagram. His Etsy store is called Heavy Cream Store. He customizes these made to order gothic style crocs. Uh, you can have a chain on the side for an extra 20 bucks extra. It'll cost you $260 if you want to buy a pair from him. Go check out Heavy Cream Store. He is the original creator of this design, but it is Suit Up Sam that we have to thank for what I'm about to show you. Now, Sam saw the viral tweets, decided that he was gonna make them himself. He decided that he was going to hop on Wish and see if he could uh, buy the, the studs and the spikes and all the things that he needed to make them. And sure enough, he did. So everything that you see on the goth crocs came from Wish. So as you'll see in Sam's video, it cost him about 
around $50 to put these together because the spikes did cost a fair bit. And when you buy things from Wish, you do have to pay shipping and sometimes the shipping is like $10 per item. I have since heard that had he bought the spikes from AliExpress, he probably would have got them cheaper than he got them on Wish and he wouldn't have had to have paid shipping. So hey, if you want to go customizing your own Crocs, Check out AliExpress instead of Wish. The funny thing was that I had a bunch of gothic clothing from Dolls Kill that I was going to make a video about. Dolls Kill had emailed me asking me if I wanted to do a gothic clothing video. So I picked a whole bunch of clothes off the website. So this was fantastic timing that Sam made these. So with that, let's have a look at how I styled these gothic crocs. So on day one, I styled the crocs with a, a witch hoodie, a lace up top, a pair of leggings and some pretty heavy blue makeup. This Alex hasn't seen the light of day since 2010. <laughs> it's like I kind of remember her, but it's just a figment. She's a vague memory. It's, no, it's a fever dream at this point. <laughs> this is what you see in your sleep paralysis. What are those? You like them? I, I mean, I'd have to, right? I mean, let's not forget who made them. I feel like a child of Thanos, a member of the Black Order. Give me the stone! <laughs> do I have the witch's hoodie on, but I also have... Who would have thought Dolls Kill and Punk Crocs would go together so well? Hansel and Gretel called. They want their antagonist back. <laughs> Bellatrix Lestrange was a millennial. This is what she'd be wearing. Konkin, fake Konkin, and her witch's hat. Well, we can't call it Funkin. The Funkin. Alex, put down that Funkin bag. <laughs> We've been in Target for 10 minutes and I haven't found any children to boil alive. Son, I think it's time that you learn who your true parents are. Because he's a top 10. Let him join his people. Yeah. No, this isn't your crew anymore. You've moved on to bigger and better things. I was really, really happy on day one. Honestly, such comfortable shoes. I did feel slightly awkward and embarrassed because I felt like I looked a little bit over the top. But looking back on the footage, I actually think, I think I kind of killed it. Like, I think it looked really, really cool. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm, I'm being a punk. I'm a bat. <laughs> no, get, get down before you hurt yourself. We were just taking pictures up here. And I just heard a little voice go, that's awesome. Okay. So on day two, I still felt like I look ridiculous. I look awkward. These shoes probably look crazy. But actually, if I'd just taken the time to look at my computer and look at the footage on the screen, I would have realized they weren't that weird at all. They're actually really, really cool. So on day two, I wore this adorable skater dress. Now this dress has little diamondy straps. This is Current Mood from Dolls Kill. Pretty simple outfit, this one, to do the groceries, to pick up some tea. I uh, ordered myself a black tea, expecting it to be black. That doesn't match my aesthetic. What I do love about these shoes is that you have the ease and comfort of regular Crocs that you just throw on if you're running down to the shops, but with that extra bling to help you embrace your inner punk crocker. When you cried, I'd wipe away. About your tears. When you scream, I'd fight away all of your fears. And I held your hand through all of these years. But you still have all of me. We've uh, spotted some wild crocs. They got nothing on mine though. Oh yeah, like nothing on mine. Although I mean, they're kind of cool. You could probably stud these out, and they would look just as cool. Wait, that's not very punk grunge of me. Wait, I, how do I? How do I? Punk? Just, just look as unhappy as possible. I have so many questions right now. 
What is this? Uh, Cthulhu's melon. Put that back. Cthulhu's <laughs> melon. Day three's outfit was a little bit of a weird one. This did look really, really good on Doll's Kill, but I kind of feel like on me, it looked a little bit awkward. I'm not the biggest fan. I don't think that the croc suited this at all, but to be honest, this is basically the only gothic slash punk clothing that I own. This stuff that Doll's Kill gave me, so I just had to wear what I had. Today's aesthetic is um, washed up Swamp Queen mixed with American Horror Story Coven. Do you have any coins? I, hold on, check my wallet. Any coins? Nothing, not a cent. Yeah, that sounds like my wallet. Wasabi flavor? That is you and definitely not me. Please and it matches no. my makeup too, because it's green. <laughs> Please no wasabi for Sam. Seafood for Sam. No, no, no! Why? I guess that this prune drink matches my aesthetic. Helps you shit better too. I was very impressed by Sam's craftsmanship because even by day three, we hadn't lost a single stud or a single spike. Nothing had fallen off. They were still going really strong. So we're very, very proud of Uncle Sam, aren't we? Yes. Day four's outfit was without a doubt my favorite, really channeling my inner violet in this outfit. Our little secret. No one knows. No one knows they're there because the dress is so long. <laughs> they're our little secret. I feel like Hella, the goddess of death. Rest those tired croc feet. You know what? This has actually been the most comfortable video I've ever made. My feet have never thanked me more. Crocs are the alpha in comfort. The other couple of days, I didn't mind so much wearing them in public because it wasn't really very busy, the places that we had to go. But today we're at a, a very busy shopping center and I don't know why, I just, I can't kick the embarrassment. I don't know, I think it's just that we are so trained to hate Crocs. We've literally been raised to hate Crocs. I can't like kick that. It's always in the back of my mind, like people are gonna see them and they're gonna be like, are they? And day four of wearing just goth. How are you feeling? How's pretty pastel princess feeling? My soul is slowly dying. But you know what? It's weird because like, this is just so me. It's so reminiscent of my high school experience. Like my whole high school experience, I was gothic. I've never let go of the heavy metal music. Like that's something that will always be with me forever. People ask me all the time, Avenged Sevenfold, Slipknot, Rise Against, Five Finger Death Punch, Linkin Park, Metallica. It's all good. Uh, I will never let go of any of them, uh, but I did let go of wearing black. And wearing this again, I, I do feel really cool. I love spikes. I just, I love them. <laughs> they, so this is a very strange sensation because it's like, yes, I'm loving the spikes and the skulls, but also they're crocs and they look kind of ridiculous. I almost feel like if they're a little bit more streamlined, you know, like a little bit tighter to the foot, they wouldn't be so weird. But it's just funny, you know, people see the top with the makeup and the hat and the lovely lacy dress and everything, they're like, wow, and then they go. Trisha Paytas is quaking. Walking around, I did think that the Crocs looked kind of ridiculous. Just in my head, I pictured that they looked really, really bad. But again, on camera, they actually look really, really good. I feel like that Subtlety of them being black shoes means that they don't stick out too much But then when you look closely and you realize that there's spikes on them But then you realize that they're crocs, but then you think okay crocs are lame, but spikes are cool So does that balance it out? Is it is it perfectly balanced as all things should be? Even despite me looking like a punk, I was still recognized I'm very very surprised that people recognized me wearing all black I feel like my trademark look that people recognize me for in public is that I'm normally wearing something outrageously pastel uh, and Japanese or Korean inspired and people notice me and they're like oh my god it's Alex I didn't expect anyone to notice me wearing all black but hey I guess when you're wearing a giant hat in a shopping center you do just kind of like look like a gothic satellite floating around I'm so glad that I had the chance to meet some subscribers I actually said to them how did you recognize me? How did you know? And they said that they saw my picture on Instagram of the shoes and they spotted the shoes. So hey, as much as I like to think that maybe the shoes aren't that attention grabbing, I guess they kind of are. Now on the last day, I bet you guys are giving up hope. 
I bet you thought that you weren't gonna see any pretty pastel goth. But hey, I came through. I came through with the wish wig and the pastel goth vibes. You know I got you. This look was probably my favorite by far. This outfit was given to me by a store called Unazi. It's a Korean store. And I think that the Crocs worked really, really well with it. It's almost like wearing chunky sneakers with a, a tennis skirt. I really like that sort of look. And this is just kind of a, a gothic twist on something like that. <laughs> Would this be a good photo for Instagram? Could be. I kind of wish that you'd put spikes on the very, very front of them, like right on the front sticking out so I could just... You know, <laughs> super funny you should say that. I was going to, but I just couldn't, Sam. I couldn't Sam. get my fingers, I couldn't get Look, my hands if, if inside the toes. Me, if someone's gonna mug me, I can't be like... <sighs> yeah. Of course you can, reverse kick, you know, like, kick like a mule, exactly, just just back up towards them and back it up, back it up, and kick like a mule. This is the sort of thing punks do, right? They, they sit on escalator floors, right? This is my favourite outfit of all, like, that's it, I'm, I'm glad we're done here because, like, this is like a mic drop for me, this outfit, mic drop. Spike drop, crock drop, drop rock, crock, gock. All in all, I think that punk crocs are a fantastic, fantastic idea. Of course, they aren't for everyone. There's always going to be people that hate crocs no matter how you style them. But then there'll always be hardcore lovers of crocs. Regardless of how you feel about them, I think we can all agree that it is a pretty creative take on something that was originally just a gardening shoe. So anyway guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Sam's video if you want to see how you can make some punk crocs with stuff from Wish. The link is down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow us on Instagram. My Instagram is Pretty Pastel Please. Archie's Instagram is Archie Eclectus. Hit the like button if you like this video. Turn on the notifications so you know when we post a new one. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!